Shalom Kodoshim. Hallelujah. In this prayer, we are going to be dealing with evil spiritual marriage. This is a problem that is very mysterious. These demons are specifically called incubus and succubus. They attach to people's lives and torment them as a spirit husband or spirit wife. Isaiah 34, 14, it is written, And the wild beasts of the desert shall also meet with the jackals, and the shaggy goat called to its companion. The night creature shall also settle there, and shall find for herself a place of rest. Some translations refer to this night creature as Lilith. In verse 15 it is written, The arrow snake shall nest there, and lay eggs and hatch, and gather them under her shadow. There too the vultures shall gather, each with his mate. This scripture reveals how this night creature operates. The incubus succubus spirit visits people in the nighttime. The book of Yehuda, Jude, chapter 1, verse 8. In the same way, indeed, these dreamers defile the flesh and reject authority and speak evil of esteemed ones. Your dream life will be a huge indication if you have a spirit husband or spirit wife attached to you. The biggest indicator is having sex in the dream. The world may tell us that we're just having wet dreams, but no, that's not the case. These demons are on a mission to kill, steal, and destroy, and that's it. Let's read Jude chapter 1 verse 8 again. In the same way, indeed, these dreamers defile the flesh and reject authority and speak evil of esteemed ones. They pollute our dreams and then they come to defile our flesh our soul and our spirit there's an exchange that happens it may seem pleasurable in the moment but then when you wake up you may feel that you are just weak and tired another thing about a spirit husband and spirit wife is that they are very stubborn they will absolutely reject authority even the authority that's been given to us by Yahushua HaMashiach the devil is known as the accuser the Merriam-Webster definition of an accuser it means to charge with an offense judicially or by a public process. This devil, the spirit husband and spirit wife, are very legalistic. Court is in session in the Shamayim. Revelation 12.10, it is written, And I heard a loud voice saying in the Shamayim, Now has come the deliverance and the power and the reign of our Luahim and the authority of his Mashiach. For the accuser of our brethren, who accused them before our Luahim day and night, has been thrown down. Kepha Rishon, 1 Peter chapter 5, verses 8 and 9. Be sober, be vigilant, because your adversary the devil, as a roaring lion, walks about seeking whom he may devour, whom resists steadfast in the belief, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. The devil is constantly looking for open doors or legal grounds for a reason for him to enter into people's lives. The main form of entry for these devils, the spirit husband and spirit wife, is through sexual immorality, fornication, adultery, masturbation, pornography. Married couples might even find themselves being attached to one through anal sex or oral sex. These sins are all open doors and legal grounds for incubus succubus spirits to enter in and to just wreak havoc in our lives. Hebrews chapter 13 verse 4, it is written, Let marriage be respected by all and the bed be undefiled. But Elohim shall judge those who whore and adulterers. Yahuwah is judged, and if we continue to defile his temple, he will bring issues and troubles into our lives. Psalm 66, verse 11 and 12, it is written, You brought us into the net. You laid affliction upon our loins. You have caused men to ride over our heads. We went through fire and through water, but you brought us out into a wealthy place. Hallelujah. 1 Corinthians chapter 6, verse 18. Flee whoring. Every sin that a man does is outside the body. But he who commits whoring sins against his own body. But do you not know that your body is the temple of the Ruach Kakudesh, who is in you, which you have from Elohim, and you are not your own? For you were bought with a price. Therefore, esteem Elohim in your body and in your spirit, which are of Elohim. 1 Thessalonians chapter 4 verse 3 For this is the will of Yahuwah, even your sanctification, that you should abstain from fornication or whoring, that every one of you should know how to possess his vessel in sanctification and honor, not in a passionate lust, even as the Gentiles which know not Yahuwah. 
If we have a spirit husband or spirit wife in our lives, we got a battle on our hands. Not only do they pollute our dreams, but they bring a lot of other issues as well. Having sexual intercourse in the dream, you might find yourself having business and financial problems, stuck in poverty. If we're dealing with a spirit husband or spirit wife, we may find it very difficult to control our sexual urges. Sexual immorality will be hard to break once we have this issue. More problems include seeing yourself in the water in the dreams. You may find yourself with children that look like you in a dream, but you don't have any in the physical. Unexplainable hindrances to progress. Right before your big breakthrough, you might find yourself having a sexual encounter in the dream. Most likely this is happening because the enemy knows that you're going to get the breakthrough. So they're trying to ruin everything by having you to sin in the dream. The incubus and succubus spirit are ruthless. They are also extremely jealous. Married couples might find themselves always getting in quarrels and strife. That is the agenda of the spirit husband and spirit wife to destroy marriage. Those who are married or who would like to be married might find that they are having a very difficult time. This may be their issue. The spirit husband or spirit wife is driving away every potential suitor. Let's go to the Apocrypha. In the book of Tobiyahu, or Tobit, there was a young maid in Sarah. She had an issue. Tobit chapter 3 verse 7. It is written. It came to pass the same day that in Ecbatane, a city of Madai, Sarah, the daughter of Reuel, was also reproached by her father's maids because that she had been married to seven men whom Asmodeus, the evil Ruach, had killed before they had lain with her. Do you not know, said they, that you have strangled your men? You have had already seven husbands, neither were you named after any of them. Wherefore do you beat us for them? If they be dead, go your ways after them. Let us never see you of either son or daughter. Many people may find themselves in a similar situation. They're in a relationship and everything's going well, and out of nowhere, everything just seems to fall apart. It wasn't until she made petitions to the Most High. Yahuwah heard her cry, and he sent the Archangel Raphael to come bind the demon. And then Tobit, the son of Tobit, was finally able to marry the young maiden. Hallelujah. So how do you get free of these demonic spirits? It's going to take some genuine repentance from the heart, and we're going to turn from some of these activities that open the door for these devils. Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 14. For Yahuwah your Elohim walks in the midst of your camp, to deliver you and give your enemies over to you. Therefore your camp shall be Kodesh, so that he does not see unclean matter among you and shall turn away from you. Deuteronomy chapter 23 verse 17 None of the daughters of Yasharel is to be a cult prostitute, nor any of the sons of Yasharel be a cult prostitute. Do not bring the hire of a whore or the pay of a dog to the house of Yahuwah your Elohim, but any vowed offering. But both of these are an abomination to Yahuwah your Elohim. 1 Corinthians chapter 6 verses 9 through 17 it is written, Do you not know that the unrighteous shall not inherit the kingdom of Elohim? Do not be deceived, neither those who whore, nor idolaters, nor adulterers, nor effeminate, nor homosexuals, nor thieves, nor greedy to gain, nor drunkards, nor revilers, nor swindlers shall inherit the kingdom of Elohim. And such were some of you, but you were washed, but you were made Kodesh, but you were declared right in the name of Adonai Yahusha and by the Ruach of our Elohim. All is permitted me, but not all do profit. All is permitted me, but I shall not be under authority of any. Fools for the stomach, and the stomach for fools. But Elohim shall destroy both it and them. And the body is not for whoring, but for the Adonai, and the Adonai for the body. And Yahuwah, who raised up the Adonai, shall also raise us up through his power. Do you not know that your bodies are members of Mashiach? Shall I then take the members of Mashiach and make them the members of a whore? Let it not be. But do you not know that he who is joined to a whore is one body? For he says, the two shall become one flesh. And he who is joined to the Adonai is one spirit. 2 Corinthians chapter 11 verse 2, it is written, For I am jealous for you with a jealousy according to Elohim. For I gave you in marriage to one husband to present you as an innocent maid into Mashiach. Hallelujah. There is some good news. There is a way out. Yeshayahu. Isaiah chapter 54 verses 4 through 8 Do not fear, for you shall not be put to shame, nor hurt, 
you shall not be humiliated. For the shame of your youth you shall forget, and not remember the reproach of your widowhood any more. For your maker is your husband. Yahuwah Seva Oath is his name, and the Kodesh one of Yasharel is your redeemer. He is called the Alahim of all the earth. For Yahuwah has called you like a woman forsaken, and grieved in spirit, like a wife of youth when you were refused, declares your Alahim. For a little while I have forsaken you, but with great compassion I shall gather you. In an overflow of wrath I hid my face from you for a moment, but with everlasting kindness I shall have compassion on you, says Yahuwah, your Redeemer. There's even more good news. Yeshayahu, Isaiah chapter 49, verses 24 to 26, it is written, Shall the prey be taken from the mighty, or the lawful captive delivered? But thus says Yahuwah, Even the captives of the mighty shall be taken away, and the prey of the terrible shall be delivered. For I will contend with them that contends with you, and I will save your children, and I will feed them that oppress you with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine, and all flesh shall know that I, Yahuwah, am your Savior, and your Redeemer, the Mighty One of Yahweh. Hallelujah. These are promises in the word of Yahuwah, that he will redeem us from every issue, from every bondage, from every captivity, from every spirit husband or spirit wife. Hallelujah. Before we go into warfare, let us go into repentance, so that we can let the Father know that we are really truly turning from the wickedness, from the fornication, from every form of sexual immorality. Yehukanah Rishon, 1 John chapter 1, verses 5 through 10. This then is the message which we have heard from him, and announced to you, that Elohim is light, and in him is no darkness at all. If we say that we have fellowship with him, and walk in darkness, we lie and are not doing the truth. But if we walk in the light, as he is in the light, we have fellowship with one another. And the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach, his son, cleanses us from all sin. If we say that we have no sin, we are misleading ourselves, and the truth is not in us. If we confess our sins, he is trustworthy and righteous to forgive us the sins and cleanse us from all unrighteousness. If we say that we have not sinned, we make him a liar, and his word is not in us. Yeshayahu, Isaiah chapter 59, verses 1 through 2. Behold, Yahuwah's hand is not short that it cannot save, neither his ear heavy that it cannot hear. But your iniquities have separated between you and your Allahim, and your sins have hid his face from you that he will not hear. Yehukanah Rashan, 1 John chapter 2, verses 1, it is written, My little children, I write this to you so that you do not sin, and if anyone sins, we have an intercessor with the Father, Yahushua HaMashiach, a righteous one. And he himself is an atoning offering for our sins, and not for ours only, but also for the, all the world. 1 John chapter 3, verses 8-9, through 9, it is written, The one doing sin is of the devil, because the devil has sinned from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of Yahuwah was manifested to destroy the works of the devil. Everyone having been born of Elohim does not sin, because his seed stays in him, and he is powerless to sin because he has been born of Elohim. Hallelujah. So let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of favor, that we may obtain compassion and find favor to help in time of need. I'm going to read Psalms 51. This is an awesome prayer of repentance. King David, the one after Yahuwah's own heart even fell for adultery. So let us read. To the chief singer, a Psalm of David, when Nathan the prophet came to him, after he had gone into Bathsheba, have mercy upon me, O Elohim, according to your loving kindness, according unto the multitude of your tender mercies. Blot out my transgressions, wash me thoroughly from my iniquity, and cleanse me from my sin. For I acknowledge my transgressions, and my sin is ever before me. Against you, you only have I sinned, and done is evil in your sight, that you might be justified when you speak, and be clear when you judge. Behold, I was shapen in iniquity, and in sin did my mother conceive me. Behold, you desire truth in the inward parts, and in the hidden part you shall make me to know wisdom. Purge me with his hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Make me to hear joy and gladness, that the bones which you have broken may rejoice. Hide your face from my sins, and blot out all my iniquities. Create in me a clean heart, O Elohim, and renew a right ruach within me. Cast me not away from your presence, 
and take not your Ruach HaKodesh from me. Restore unto me the joy of your deliverance, and uphold me with your free Ruach. Then will I teach transgressors your ways, and sinners shall be turned back unto you. Deliver me from blood guiltiness, O Allahim, my Allahim of my deliverance, and my tongue shall sing aloud of your righteousness. O Adonai, open my lips, and my mouth shall show forth your praise. For you desire not sacrifice, else would I give it. You delight not in burnt offering. The sacrifices of Elohim are a broken ruach, a broken and a contrite heart. O Allahim, you will not despise. Do good in your good pleasure unto Sion. Build the walls of Jerusalem. Then shall you be pleased with the sacrifices of righteousness, with burnt offering and whole burnt offering. Then shall they offer bullocks upon your altar. Amen. Heavenly Father, Abiyah, we come to you today that you may forgive us for our sins, our transgressions, and our iniquities. We have violated your commandments and failing to keep our bodies from the sin and sexual immorality. Instead of offering our bodies to you as a living sacrifice, we have offered it to the enemy in sin. And we know that your word says if we confess our sin and forsake them, that we will obtain mercy from you. Therefore, O oh Yahuwah, we ask that you forgive us. Forgive us for all our sins, Father. Have mercy upon us. Heavenly Father, any area that we have fallen short in this area, of walking in sanctity and being Kodesh, Father, we pray that you would strengthen us and give us the power to overcome sexual immorality in the name of Yahushua. O oh Yahuwah, according to Ephesians 3.16, we pray that you will grant us, according to the riches of your kavod, to be strengthened with might by your ruach in the inner man in Yahushua's name. Praise Yah. Hallelujah. Thank you, Father, for redemption. Thank you, Father, for salvation. Thank you, Father, for deliverance. Thank you, Yahushua. So now, let us get ready to go into warfare. But before we engage the enemy, we got to make some more confessions. Jeremiah chapter 27, verse 29. It's not my word like a fire, says Yahuwah, and like a hammer that shatters a rock. Revelation chapter 12 verse 11. And they overcame him by the blood of the lamb and by the word of the testimony, and they loved not their lives unto the death. 1 John chapter 4 verses 4. You are of Allahim, little children, and have overcome them, because greater is he that is in you than he that is in the world. Obadiahu. Obadiah chapter 1 verse 17. But on Mount Sion there shall be a remnant, and it shall be Kodesh, and the house of Yaakov shall possess their possessions, and the house of Yaakov shall be a fire, and the house of Yosef a flame, but the house of Esau for stubble, and it shall burn among them, and they shall consume them, so that no survivor is left of the house of Esau, for Yahuwah has spoken. Philippians chapter 2 Wherefore Yahuwah also has highly exalted him, and given him a name which is above every name, that at the name of Yahushua, every knee shall bow of things in heaven and things in earth and things under the earth, and that every tongue shall confess that Yahushua HaMashiach is Adonai to the esteem of the Lord and the Father. Hallelujah. Luke chapter 10 verse 17. And the seventy returned again with joy, saying, Adonai, even the devils are subject unto us through your name. And he said unto them, I beheld Satan as lightning fall from heaven. Behold, I give unto you power to trample on serpents and scorpions, and over all the power of the enemy, and nothing shall by any means hurt you. Hallelujah. Romans chapter 7 But do you not know, brethren? For I speak for those knowing the Torah, that the Torah rules over a man as long as he lives. For the married woman has been bound by Torah to the living husband. But if the husband dies, she is released from the Torah of her husband. So then, while her husband lives, she shall be called an adulteress if she becomes another man's. But if her husband dies, she is free from that Torah, so that she is not an adulteress, having become another man's. So my brethren, you also were put to death to the Torah through the body of Mashiach, for you to become another's, the one who was raised from the dead, that we should bear fruit to Elohim. But when we were in the flesh, the passions of sins through the Torah were working in our members to bear fruit to death. But now we have been released from the Torah, having died to what we were held by, so that we should serve in newness of Ruach and not in oldness of the letter. Hallelujah. Leviticus chapter 19, verses 19. It is written, Guard my laws. Do not let your livestock mate with another kind. Do not sow your field with mixed seed. And do not put a garment woven of two sorts of thread upon you. 
This scripture is important, especially when dealing with this spirit husband and spirit wife. They are legalistic. But his law says that we are not to mate two different kind of breeds together. Human and spirit are not meant to breed together. It is illegal. In the book of Matthew, chapter 22, the Sadducees, the faction or the group who believed that there was no resurrection, they asked Yahushua about a man who had a wife, and he died, and his seven brothers all married the same woman, and none had children. And they asked him a certain question. In verse 27, they asked, And the last of all, the woman died too. At the resurrection, then whose wife of the seven shall she be? For all had had her. And Yahushua answered and said to them, You go astray, not knowing the scriptures, nor the power of Elohim. For in the resurrection, they do not marry, nor are they given in marriage. But as are the Malachim, or the angels of Elohim in the Shamayim. According to these scriptures, spirits aren't allowed to marry. That is only for humans. With this prayer, we are serving every spirit husband and spirit wife in eviction notice. Your days are up. As I go into this warfare, follow along with me and let's come into agreement. Because it is written in Matthew 18, 18. Truly, I say to you, whatever you bind on earth shall be having been bound in the Shamayim. And whatever you loosen on earth shall be having been loosed in, in the Shamayim. Again, I say to you that if two of you agree on earth concerning any matter that they ask, it shall be done for them by my father in the Shamayim. But where two or three are gathered together in my name, there am I in the midst. Hallelujah. Anything is possible to him that believes. And I believe through this prayer, many are going to get set free from this bondage of spirit husband, spirit wife, incubus, succubus spirits that come in the night to defile us. We're going to get set free in Yahushua's name. Let's go. Matthew chapter 3 verses 10 through 12 And the axe is already laid to the root of the trees. Every tree then which does not bear good fruit is cut down and thrown into the fire. I indeed immerse you in water unto repentance. But he who is coming after me is mightier than I, whose sandals I am not worthy to bear. He shall immerse you in the Ruach HaKodesh and fire. His winnowing fork is in his hand, and he shall thoroughly cleanse his threshing floor and gather his wheat into the storehouse. But the chaff he shall burn with unquenchable fire. O oh, Yahuwah, immerse us with the Ruach HaKodesh and with fire and of deliverance from the crown of our heads to the soles of our feet. In the name of Yahushua, Abiyah, in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach, we come before you this day and we plead the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach over our mind, over our bodies, our souls, and our spirits. By the blood of Yahushua, we receive forgiveness of sins and reunion with you. We are new creatures in Mashiach Yahushua, and old things have passed away. Behold, all things are become new. We are your worshipmanship, recreated in Mashiach as priests and kings to reign here on earth for good works. O Yahuwah, according to your word, we are joined to Mashiach in one spirit, according to 1 Corinthians 6.17, and so cannot be joined to any other spirit. We therefore plead our case this day, and we decree and declare that water spirits, marine spirits, incubus succubus spirits, dog spirits, they have no ground to be connected to us on our spirit, soul, mind, and body, henceforth in Yahushua's name. O Yahuwah, Heavenly Father, as we intercede and pray this day, we surrender ourselves to you, O Father Yah, and we ask that you bring to our attention through the Ruach HaKodesh. Anything that is serving as an opening in our lives for incubus succubus, marine spirits, water spirits to attack us. Show us areas of our lives that we need to be attended to and objects or materials that are with us that we need to get rid of or to destroy in Yahushua's name. Yahuwah, you said in your word in Isaiah 49, 25, that you will fight against those that fight against us and you will save us and our children. You say you will oppress them that oppress us with their own flesh, and they shall be drunken with their own blood as with sweet wine. We therefore hand over this battle against incubus succubus spirits, marine spirits, doll spirits, Lilith, over to you in faith, and we decree and declare that we have victory already in Yahushua's name. The Son of Yahuwah was made manifest to destroy the works of the devil. So every work of the devil and spirit husband and spirit wife in our lives and families 
We command to go into destruction mode, double destruction, in Yahushua's name. Colossians chapter 2, verses 9 through 14. Because in him dwells all the completeness of the Almighty bodily, and you have been made complete in him, who is the head of all principality and authority, in him you were also circumcised with a circumcision not made with hands, in the putting off of the body of the sins of the flesh, by the circumcision of Mashiach, having been buried with him in immersion, in which you also were raised with him through the belief in the working of Yahuwah, who raised him from the dead, and you, being dead in your trespasses and the uncircumcision of your flesh, he has made alive together with him, having forgiven you all trespasses, having blotted out the handwriting against us by the dogmas, which stood against us, and he has taken it out of the way, having nailed it to the stake, having stripped the principalities and the authorities, he made a public display of them, having prevailed over them in it. As we go into this warfare prayer, we hold in our hand the victory Yahushua HaMashiach purchased on the stake of Calvary when he made an open show of principalities and authorities, triumphing over them in it. We take our rightful positions in Mashiach as ones given power to become the children of Elohim, even joint heirs with Mashiach, to execute judgment against every form of disobedience exhibited against the knowledge of Elua in our lives and families in the name of Yahushua. 2 Corinthians chapter 10 verses 3 through 6 it is written For though we walk in the flesh we do not war after the flesh for the weapons of our warfare are not carnal but mighty through Yah to the overthrowing the strongholds overthrowing imaginations and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of Yah and bring it into captivity every thought to the obedience of Mashiach and having in a readiness to revenge all disobedience when your obedience is fulfilled now we come against every evil stronghold of any marine kingdom and spirit spouse against our lives and families. We command them to be overthrown and destroyed right now in the name of Yahushua. Deuteronomy chapter 12 verses 3 it is written, And you shall break down their altars and destroy their pillars and burn their asherim with fire. And you shall cut down the carved images of their mighty ones and shall destroy their name out of that place. Every evil altar, shrine, temple, gates, Asherim, graven image, has been established to war against us and our families, whether in the physical or in the spiritual realm. We lose fire and brimstone. We lose the Malachim of Yahuwah to destroy and overthrow those places by fire this day in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. You evil queens, kings, princes, and princesses from the rivers and the coasts, you incubus, you succubus spirits, working against our lives and our destinies, hear the word of Yahuwah. Yahushua is the only Adonai and savior of our lives. He is the only king and husband of our lives. He is the bridegroom and we're the bride. You have no ground to claim connection with us henceforth. We therefore bind and rebuke you all and command you to get out of our lives and go into the abyss in Yahushua's name. Ruach HaKodesh fire in the blood of Yahushua. Blot out and erase our names from the marine kingdoms and all their evil altars and covens from today in Yahushua's name. It is written in Acts chapter 17 verse 30 that in the days of ignorance, Yahuwah has overlooked, but now he's called us to repentance. Whatever we have done in the past has become a ground for evil spirits to claim merit to us is hereby erased by the blood of Yahushua HaMashiach in Yahushua's name. Every spirit husband, spirit wife, we command you, release us by fire in the name of Yahushua. Every spirit husband, spirit wife, we divorce you by the blood of Yahushua in Yahushua's name. Everything that's been deposited in our lives, come out by fire in the name of Yahushua. Every dream that's bringing marital issues and marital delay in our lives, be aborted by fire in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce and we divorce our marriage with any spirit husband or spirit wife in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. Deuteronomy chapter 7 verses 2. And when Yahuwah your Elohim gives them over to you, you shall smite them and put them under the ban completely, made no covenant with them and showed them no favor. By the power and the blood of Yahushua, we break all covenants, agreements, initiations, dedications, alliances, oaths, contracts, rituals, and ceremonies enter into with a spirit husband or spirit wife in the name of Yahushua. We break every blood and soul tie covenants with the spirit husband or spirit wife in the name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We break all evil covenants and agreements, initiations, or dedications inflicted upon us by the sins of our fathers or our mothers 
in the name of Yahusha HaMashiach. By the power and the blood of Yahusha, we break all sexually related covenants in the name of Yahusha. Every sexually acquired evil covenants from our sexual partners in the past be broken in the name of Yahusha and by the power of his blood. By the power and the blood of Yahusha, we break ourselves loose from every inherited evil covenants, agreements, initiations, and dedications in the name of Yahusha. Covenants with the evil idols of our father's house and our mother's house break by the power and the blood of Yahusha in Yahusha's name. We lose fire and brimstone to destroy and release us from the cage of marine spirits and spirit husband and spirit wife in the name of Yahushua. Whatever evil marriage instruments in our possessions, knowingly or unknowingly, consciously or unconsciously, we command them to be exposed and destroyed by fire right now in the name of Yahushua. We lose thunder and fire of Yahuwah to burn the ashes, every wedding gown, every tuxedo, the rings, photographs, and all other materials used for the evil spiritual marriage in the name of Yahushua. We lose the fire of Yahuwah to burn the ashes every marriage certificate to a spirit husband or spirit wife in the name of Yahushua. By the blood of Yahushua, we withdraw our blood, sperm, or any other part of our bodies deposited in the altar of a spirit husband or spirit wife now in Yahushua's name. You, spirit husband or spirit wife, tormenting our lives in earthly marriages, we bind you, we rebuke you, we disable you with hot chains and fetters of Yah and cast you out of our lives into the deep pit and we command you not ever to come into our lives again in the name of Yahushua. We renounce, we denounce, and we reject and return to every spirit husband and spirit wife every property of theirs that is in our possessions in the spirit world, including the dowry and whatsoever was used for the marriage and all their covenants in the name of Yahushua. By the blood of Yahushua, we flush ourselves of all evil materials deposited in our bodies as a result of sexual relations with a spirit husband or spirit wife in the name of Yahushua. O Yahuwah, send the Ruach Kakodesh fire into our roots and burn out all unclean things deposited in it in the name of Yahushua. We break the head of the snake, the dog, or any other animal deposited into our bodies by a spirit husband or spirit wife to do us harm, and we command them to come out with all their roots in the name of Yahushua. We purge out with the blood of Yahushua every evil material deposited in us to prevent us from having children on earth in Yahushua's name. O Yahuwah, repair and restore any damage done to any part of our bodies in our earthly marriages by a spirit husband or spirit wife in the name of Yahushua. Numbers chapter 23 verses 21 through 23 it is written, He has not looked upon wickedness in Yahweh, nor has he seen trouble in Yahsharel. Yahuwah, his Elohim is with him, and the shout of a sovereign is in him. El, who brought them out of Mitzrayim, is for them like the horns of a wild ox. But there is no sorcery against Yahweh, nor is there any divination against Yahsharel. Now it is said to Yahweh and to Yahsharel, What has El done? By the power in the blood of Yahushua, we reject and counsel and break every curse, evil pronouncement, spell, jinx, hex, incantation, enchantment, divination, voodoo, hoodoo, white magic, black magic, placed upon us by a spirit husband or spirit wife in the name of Yahushua. We take back and possess all our earthly belongings in the custody of a spirit husband or spirit wife now in Yahushua's name. We renounce and denounce and reject the name given to us by a spirit husband or spirit wife in the name of Yahushua. Therefore let no man trouble me, for I bear my body the marks of Adonai Yahushua. We soak ourselves in the blood of Yahushua and counsel every evil mark or writings placed upon us in the name of Yahushua. O Yahuwah, set us free from the stronghold and domineering power and bondage of the spirit husband or spirit wife in the name of Yahushua. Every trademark of evil marriages in our lives be shaken out forever in the name of Yahushua. Every evil writing engraved by iron pen be blotted out by the blood of Yahushua in Yahushua's name. We destroy any demonic instruments being used to monitor and remote control our lives, our destinies, and our emotions in the name of Yahushua. We bind, we rebuke, and we paralyze the remote control powers and any work being used to destabilize our earthly marriages and to hinder us from bearing children on earth in the name of Yahushua. We plead the blood of Yahushua on every evidence that can be tendered by wicked spirits against us in Yahushua's name. We file a counter report in the Shamaim against every evil marriage in the name of Yahushua. Let the careful siege of the enemy be dismantled and destroyed in the name of Yahushua. Eo chapter 38 verses 12 through 13. 
Have you ever commanded the morning and caused the dawn to know its place, to take hold of the ends of the earth and the wicked be shaken out of it? O oh, Yahuwah, shake out seasons of failure, frustrations, and rejection from our lives in the name of Yahushua. Everything written against us in the cycle of the moon against us be blotted out in Yahushua's name. Everything programmed into the sun, the moon, and the stars against us be dismantled in Yahushua's name. By the power in the blood of Yahushua, we overthrow every wicked law working against our lives by a spirit husband or spirit wife in the name of Yahushua. We ordain a new time, season, and profitable law in the name of Yahushua. We speak destruction onto the altar that is speaking against the purposes of Yahuwah for our lives in the name of Yahushua. Every plant that our Heavenly Father has not planted shall be uprooted. We destroy and uproot the power of any demonic seed in our lives from the womb to be cast into Sheol in the name of Yahushua. We speak unto our umbilical gates to overthrow all negative parental spirits in the name of Yahushua. O oh, Yahuwah, we break the yoke of the spirits having access to our reproductive gates in the name of Yahushua. We bring the fire from the altar of Yahuwah upon every evil marriage in the name of Yahushua. O oh, Yahuwah, redeem us by the blood of Yahushua from every sex trap in the name of Yahushua. By the blood of Yahushua, we blot out and erase the engraving of our names on any evil marriage records in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce and we reject every evil spiritual marriage in the name of Yahushua. We issue a bill of divorcement to every spirit husband and spirit wife in the name of Yahushua. We bind, rebuke, and disable every spirit husband and spirit wife with everlasting chains in the name of Yahushua. Let the testimony of the Shamayim overcome every evil testimony of hell in the name of Yahushua. By the blood of Yahushua, we purge ourselves of every contaminated material in the name of Yahushua. We loose the fire of Yahuwah to burn every certificate and destroy every vow ring of every spirit husband and spirit wife in the name of Yahushua. We execute judgment against water spirits and spirit husbands and spirit wives and we decree and declare that you are reserved for everlasting chains and darkness with the other fallen angels in the name of Yahushua. Every trademark of water spirits, dog spirits, familiar spirits, incubus succubus spirits be shaken out of our lives in the name of Yahushua. We request Yahuwah Sebaot, the judge of the Shamayim and the earth, to issue a standing decree order of restriction to every spirit husband or spirit wife that's harassing us in our dreams or in the physical. In the mighty name of Yahushua, by the blood of Yahushua, we renounce and denounce and reject every marital creed and stipulation done in the spirit world that is affecting our current earthly marital vows and stipulations. In the name of Yahushua, with an immediate effect, we renounce and denounce reject and we abandon and disown any spiritual children attached to us from the spirit husband or spirit wife in the mighty name of Yahushua HaMashiach. We reject every plan of the enemy to weaken our spiritual lives in the name of Yahushua. Every spirit coming to defile us, mind, body, soul, or spirit, we break your backbone today in the name of Yahushua. You, spirit husband, spirit wives, we reject every token of marriage that you are holding on to in our lives in Yahushua's name. We lose the fire of Yahuwah to come down and burn the ashes every evil token in the name of Yahushua. O earth, hear the word of Yahuwah. Swallow up every spiritual rapist and molester targeted against us in Yahushua's name. Every spirit husband and spirit wife, we lose thunder of Yahuwah to blind their eyes and they will no longer see us again in the name of Yahushua. Every spirit of witchcraft that's manifesting in the form of a dog or a serpent or a spider, we resist you. We command you to catch fire, roast the ashes in the name of Yahushua. Every spiritual intercourse material deposited in us by evil spiritual partners come out of our bodies now in the name of Yahushua. Every spirit oppressing us in our dreams or in our bedrooms, we decree and declare that our houses are a danger zone to you. You are on a suicide mission in Yahushua's name. We destroy and break every sexual blood covenant operating against our lives in the name of Yahushua. By the power and the blood of Yahushua, we break every sexual soul tie arising from old relationships in the name of Yahushua. We destroy the power of sexual remote controls working against our lives in the name of Yahushua. Galatians 3.13, it is written, Mashiach has redeemed us from the curse of the Torah and been made a curse for us, for it is written, Curses everyone that hangs on a tree, that the favor of Abraham will come upon the Gentiles through Yahushua HaMashiach, that they might receive the promise of the Ruach through belief. 
by this scripture, we break every sexual curse that's working upon our lives right now in the name of Yahushua and by the power of his blood. Every satanic spiritual marital home, we set you ablaze now by the fire of the Ruach Kakudesh and may they be swallowed up by the earth in the name of Yahushua. Any materials from our bodies that are present in any satanic bank or laboratory and used to oppress us spiritually, we receive you back now by the blood of Yahushua in Yahushua's name. We bind, rebuke, and paralyze and cast out every spirit of seduction working against our lives physically or spiritually in the name of Yahushua. We release our reproductive organs and our digestive organs from any demonic control or possession in the name of Yahushua. Every spiritual contamination of our physical, marital, sexual relationships, we sanitize you by the blood of Yahushua. Fire the royal cockadesh, purify our lives in Yahushua's name. Mark chapter 16 verses 15. It is written, He that believes and is immersed shall be saved, but he that believes not shall be damned. And these signs shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils, they shall speak with new tongues, they shall take up serpents, and if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. They shall lay hands on the sick, and they shall recover. Hallelujah. We command the following spirits to come out of our lives and release us now. Masturbation, come out in the name of Yahushua. Pornography, come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. Homosexuality, come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. Lust of the eyes, break and loose your hold. Come out now in the name of Yahushua. Sexual perversion, come out now in the name of Yahushua. Oral sex, break and loose your hold. Come out in the name of Yahushua. Anal sex, break and release us now in the name of Yahushua. Bestiality, break and loose your hold. Come out in the name of Yahushua. Incest, break and come out in the name of Yahushua. Rape, come out and loose your hold in the name of Yahushua. We command fornication to break and loose the hold. Come out with all your roots, fornication, in Yahushua's name. Adultery, break and loose your hold. Come out in Yahushua's name. Immorality, come out, loose your hold in the name of Yahushua. Occultic sex, break and loose your hold. Come out now in Yahushua's name. Prostitution, we command you, come out now in Yahushua's name. Harlotry, come out in the name of Yahushua. All uncleanness, we command you to catch fire, roast the ashes, come out in the name of Yahushua. Filthy dreams, filthy conversations, filthy imaginations, we command you, break and come out with all your roots in the name of Yahushua. Sexual flashbacks, break and loose your hold, come out now with all your roots in Yahushua's name. Lasciviousness, break and loose your hold, come out now with all your roots in Yahushua's name. Nudity, come out with all your roots in Yahushua's name. Promiscuity, we command you, break and loose your hold, come out in the name of Yahushua. Flirting and seduction, we command you, break and loose your hold, come out with all your roots in Yahushua's name. The lust of the flesh, break and loose your hold, now come out in the name of Yahushua. We release ourselves from the hold of every bewitched relationship now in the name of Yahushua. We command all evil remote controllers to loose their hold upon our affections in the name of Yahushua. By the blood of Yahushua, we remove ourselves from every strange authority ever exercised over us in Yahushua's name. We break and remove all evil soul ties and evil affections in the name of Yahushua. We renounce and denounce and break all hidden evil soul ties in the name of Yahushua. We break all evil soul ties and wash them away with the blood of Yahushua and by the fire of the Ruach HaKodesh in the name of Yahushua. From this day forward, we render all evil decisions and decrees and declarations taken against our lives and our destinies and our marriages by spiritual husbands, spirit wives, and marine spirits to nothing in Yahushua's name. We bind, rebuke, and paralyze every demon released to monitor our lives and activate demonic decisions to collapse now and become blind this instant and we cast them into the abyss by fire in Yahushua's name. Jeremiah 16 verse 16 Behold, I will send for many fishers, says Yahuwah, and they shall fish them. And after will I send for many hunters, and they shall hunt them from every mountain, and from every hill, and out of the holes of the rocks. We loose the hunters and fishers of Yahuwah to excavate and return back to us all our virtues, all our barakah. Anything that's been stolen from us is buried in the sea, that's in the earth, or is in the heavenlies, and bring them back to us seven times fold. According to Proverbs chapter 6 and 30 and 31, it is written, If a thief has been found, he is to restore back all the substance of his house seven times fold in the name of Yahushua. This day, we decree and declare with Yahuwah's word in Isaiah 60 verse 4 through 6 and say, Our Berakoth and prosperity shall gather together and come to us. 
We will carry our sons and daughters and our grandchildren. We will be radiant and our hearts shall be filled with joy from now onwards. Riches and wealth in the abundance of the sea shall be turned to us. The wealth of the Gentiles shall come to us. Men and women will bring gold and frankincense and submit them to our feet. And our mouth shall be filled with good news. Hallelujah. In Yahushua's name. We decree and declare, according to 1 Peter 2.24, that Yahushua carried our sins and diseases and pains at the stake. By his wounds we are healed. Every sickness and affliction in our body is a stranger. Psalms chapter 18 verses 44. As soon as they hear me, they obey me. The strangers submit to me. The strangers fade away and come frightened from their strongholds. You afflictions, you pains, you witchcrafts in our lives and families that are caused by spirit husband, spirit wife, marine spirits, and witchcraft. We command you to cease right now. You are strangers. We command you to fade away out of your strongholds in the name of Yahushua. The blood of Yahushua HaMashiach cleanses us from all unrighteousness. According to 1 John 1, 7-9, we therefore decree and declare that we are cleansed from every form of sexual pollution and astral sex with spiritual husband or spirit wife in the name of Yahushua. We destroy the power of astral sex upon our lives in the name of Yahushua. We are now disconnected from the marine kingdom any body of water and we are now connected to Yahushua HaMashiach forever and ever in Yahushua's name. We break every link of witchcraft right now over our lives in the name of Yahushua. Yeshayahu, Isaiah chapter 54, 11 and 12. O you afflicted one, tossed with storm and not comforted, behold, I will lay your stones with emeralds and your foundation with sapphires, and I shall make your battlements of rubies and your gates of crystal and all your walls of precious stones. O Yahuwah, according to this word, break down the faulty areas of our lives, the foundations, the walls, gates, the battlements, windows, and borders, and rebuild it, restore it, repair it, fortify it, and barricade it in a new one, in Mashiach Yahushua, in Yahushua's name. Praise Yah. We remove every satanic embargoes, tags, hindrances, obstacles, and or blockages that have been put in the way of our progress by our involvement with a spiritual husband or spirit wife, in the name of Yahushua. Zechariah, Zechariah chapter 2 verses 3 through 5, it is written, And behold, the Malachim that talked with me went forth, and another Malachim went out to meet him, and said unto him, Run, speak to this young man, saying, Jerusalem shall be inhabited as towns without walls, for the multitude of men and cattle therein. For I, says Yahuwah, will be unto her a wall of fire round about, and will be the cavold in the midst of her. O Yahuwah, Father, Build a wall of fire round about us and our households and our beds and be the cavold in the midst of it, protecting us in the night from an incubus or succubus spirit in the name of Yahushua. Acts chapter 2 verses 2 it is written, And suddenly there came a sound from the Shamayim as of a rushing mighty wind, and it filled all the house where they were sitting, and there appeared to them divided tongues as of fire, and settled on each one of them, and they were all filled with the Ruach HaKudesh, and began to speak with other tongues, as the Ruach gave them to speak. Hallelujah. Heavenly Father, as a rushing mighty wind, Father, fill up our households. Fill up the place where we're sitting at right now. And fill us up fresh with your Ruach Kakodesh. Fill us up every void, every crevice that's been left out and emptied out. Fill us with your Kavod. Fill us with your power. Fill us with your revelation and your knowledge and understanding, Father, until the cup overflows in Yahushua's mighty name. Thank you, Father Yah. Thank you, Adonai Yahushua, for our deliverance and permanent victory over a spirit husband, spirit wife, and all their operations. There shall be no reinforcement or evil reunion against us henceforth, for affliction shall not rise a second time, according to Nahum chapter 1 verse 9. We seal this victory, our confessions, this warfare with the blood and testimony of Yahushua HaMashiach, and we cover ourselves, our mind, our unconscious, our subconscious, and our bodies with the blood of Yahushua. In Yahushua's mighty name we pray. Hallelujah. Listen as many times as you need until you get that breakthrough. I believe that there's going to be big time testimonies. Hallelujah. Keep fighting the good fight. Shalom.